Hey YouTube, it's your boy, Super Scooter Guy, coming at you with another Moto Vlog. And today, um, I want to talk a little bit about the dangers of the wind and uh, how it could impact both your ride, your storage, your bike, in many different ways. Um, so in, uh, I guess a little bit of history, uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually it wasn't a couple of weeks, just last week, um, I had my bike in the parking lot. Uh, I work on a campus, so, um, you know, last week was pretty windy, pretty cool. I didn't really ride much last week. Um, you know, weather was in the 40s, 30s at times. You know, now it's finally gotten back up in the 50s and 60s, so now I'm kind of back out there. Um, so I had my bike pretty much wrapped up in its cover for about a week straight. You know, I would periodically check on it when I, when, you know, would park my car, and it would just be sitting there, it was fine or whatever. Um, but it was a couple of days where the wind gusts were up in the 40s and 50s. Um, so then one day, I'm sitting in the cafeteria and one of my colleagues came in, they saw me in there. And they're like, hey, you know, I was parking, I just saw your bike on the ground. And I'm laughing like, why are you lying? Like, I know nobody is messing with my bike or <laughs> whatever, like in the parking lot or whatever. And I'm like, you know, I didn't even think it was true. So I get up from eating, go back over there, and lo and behold, my bike is chilling on the ground, taking a nap. I'm like, this is some old bullshit. So, um, you know, I just, you know, I took some pictures of it. I called university police, had them come over, do a report. Um, you know, this is a spot that I've been parking in for the past, like, year and a half or so. Um, so, like, you know, it's been windy. I've had windier days. So, um, I never really thought that the wind was going to take down my Kimco Exciting 500. It's, it's almost a 500-pound bike. Uh, dry weight is 473, uh, 473 pounds. So, like, it's not, like, a lightweight, you know, little Chinese scooter or something. So, like... You know, I took down a report, you know, maybe someone overnight messed with it or something. Um, so, you know, Universal Police just took the report. So, the next day, the investigator comes in, goes over the video footage of the parking lot, and they said, nope, you know, the wind took it down. It kind of got up under the motorcycle cover, created it into like a sail, and then it brought it down. And... Oh my god, that sucks. So, I have a little bit of side damage on my muffler cover. Um, just a little bit up on the sides or whatever. Um, nothing was broken like the mirrors or anything like that. It's still rideable. Um, a slight dent even on the muffler from the muffler cover hitting it. Um, but nothing crazy. Like, nothing that I feel like I have to necessarily repair. But, you know, this is the second time my bike has gone down for reasons not my own so i'm kind of frustrated in that but um you know i think it's important to you know understand what the wind can do and i think you know maybe it was slightly my fault like i know sometimes when people have motorcycle covers on they wrap the string around like the kickstand like that's something i never really did i would always just knot the string up itself but not like have it tied down to the bottom of the bike and that is maybe what possibly allowed it to become a sail because over you know a day or so it kind of opened up a little bit like the string that makes it tight around the bike and you can kind of see it kind of bubbling up or whatever and I never really went back to tighten it back up or whatever so I think kind of in the future if I am going to get another motorcycle cover because my cover's ripped and destroyed you know I need to make sure that it's definitely tight on there maybe it has the clamps on it you know I got it from Cycle Gear so you know it wasn't necessarily the best of the best but you know, for something that's supposed to protect the bike to be the reason why it went down, it's kind of frustrating. So, you know, what do you guys think about kind of what do you do to handle the wind um, when trying to store your bike, you know, outside or whatever? Like, best ways to combat, you know, trying to protect it with a cover, but also, like, deal with the wind part of it. Um, also, when riding, I feel like, you know, that's one of the reasons why maybe I don't really go out too often when it's really, 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 really windy. You know, it kind of moves you around on the road and, you know, you got to kind of compensate for all of that. And, 
you know, what are your some of your tips and techniques even when riding in windier conditions to kind of make you sure that yourself is uh you're stable. Um, I don't know if you all noticed, but I do have a large motorcycle uh, windscreen, which it's not stock. It is an aftermarket piece, which has definitely, definitely helped cut down on the wind buffering when I'm riding. So I do feel like that's one thing that I kind of did to make sure I can combat the wind. But what other tips and tricks do you guys have with dealing with that? So, you know, leave some comments below how you handle the wind. I'm gonna go and plan a fitness, get a little workout in, and not eat no pizza. All right, people, super scooter guy, deuces.